Cool. So my new EP is called 41.9. And um, I had a series of songs I was working on. I decided that I wanted to create a new EP and got my band together. We rehearsed it a whole bunch, kind of discussed how we were going to do the different parts, went into a studio in New Zealand, recorded all the instrumental parts um, on separate tracks. And then I worked with James Yule in London on the production. So it was a bit of like an international worldwide um, uh, contribution for that for that piece. Um, there's a lot of there was a lot of different contributors to that, you know. Um, it went from my, you know, it went it going going from like me playing my piano in my room to a full scale band to a studio recording to a production quality to an actual physical CD, and I had people helping with the artwork and all that sort of stuff. It's um, it's such an it, I always as a child underestimated the amount of effort that goes into just making a CD, and. Um, yeah, it was a really, a really exciting process, and it was, you know, the first album, not album, EP that I made that was, you know, the, I wrote five songs that I was putting together, you know, it's been a little bit, um, in the past, it's been a little bit of a mishmash of stuff, you know, and these songs I wrote and recorded together, it was five songs that are meant to be together on this, on this EP, and they're kind of a defining point for me, so the reason I usually write songs is because I've, had an experience and I'm processing it. It's a processing mecha mechanism a lot of the time. Most of those songs on that EP are all things that have happened and I'm just like sort of thinking about it and getting through that sort of phase. I've tended to start writing quite specifically because when I talk to people on a daily basis, the more specific you are, the more they get you and the more they trust you and the more they understand what you're trying to say. So. When people listen to the music, I want them to be on the same level as, as like just having a conversation with them. Song lyrics and, and music itself takes things to a new level. So when a normal conversation isn't enough, you have you have a song and that fills fills in that sort of missing articulation. You know, it creates that emotion behind what you're trying to say. And so I want people to be able to listen to that and gather that and, and be able to empathize and be able to uh, realize their experiences and move on from there, you know? My favorite for performance is probably a song called La Paradox because it's um, super, super wordy and really, really fast. And, um, and so it takes like a, a whole ton of energy and it's the most like live in the moment song ever because you have to be so engaged and so focused the entire time. Otherwise, you forget the words. Um, but my favorite song to listen to is probably a song called Doormat because I just think it's really cool. It's real chill and laid back and um, got a nice sort of groove to it so that's why I really like that one. <laughs> My EP is called 41.9 and you'll be able to download it off of iTunes.